Hey guys, how's it going? Today I want to show off a brand new load of concrete that just came in from Unique Stone. I'm so excited about it. Mostly containers, one fountain, and they're all gorgeous. They're all so pretty and I've got so many ideas kind of floating around. I'm not sure how everything's going to come together, but I'm really hopeful that you will be able to see some of these containers happening in projects pretty soon. I want to start with the most obvious pieces over here. Like I haven't even had a chance to sift through all of these yet because I wasn't involved in the actual unboxing. Everything's a little bit too heavy for me to lift at this point in time. Um, so I thought it would be fun to kind of sift through it together. I do have my packing list because I can't remember all the names of all of these things. In fact, we'll go ahead and put all the sizes and all the specs on the screen when I talk about each one of these things because otherwise I'd just be reading my notes the entire time, the packing list anyway. This one right here is called the Gallery Scroll Urn. I posted a picture of myself standing next to these, still packed the other day. You could see the bases of them um, sitting here, but you couldn't see the top and the detail. It's just beautiful. And most of you thought that they were gonna end up in a space on the new property. And I do think that that's where they're gonna go. Look at the cats. They're totally distracting me right now. Hey, you two every time. <laughs> anyway, I do think that these are destined to be on the new property. We're not quite, quite ready to set them up there. Um, so I, I think I'm going to use them in a fall arrangement here pretty soon. I want to keep the amount of moving of these to a minimum, minimum, which Aaron's probably happy about. So I'm hoping we use them in a fall arrangement this year, possibly for Christmas, and then we'll move them out to the new property in the spring. But I think I mean, the biggest statement ever. This is the only size I believe this style comes in right here. Uh, and I've been eyeballing these for a few years now, a couple years at least. Uh, but I have never been able to think of a perfect spot to put something that's like, that's this big. And it definitely will go on the new property beautifully because there's, I mean, it's, you know, it's vastly open um, and you need to have big things in order to make somewhat of a statement. Um, the next thing is the Spring Nymph Fountain. That's kind of the most unique thing. I mean, all the rest of them are containers. So this is the only thing that kind of goes against that. Um, it's not really, we'll put a picture on the screen because it's kind of scattered. But right here is the base. This is the base that sits right on the ground. It's a fairly, I mean, it's not super low when it's all put together. It's about this high, but that's the base. And then the bowl happens. And I really do like this bowl. I like the shape of it. I like that it's... Like it has a scallopy look, but it's not wavy, not super wavy on the edges, which I don't love when fountains kind of do that. It's not like I like it to look a little bit more clean. So I really like this. And then this, the nymph goes right in the center and the water comes up through the top and then spills over the sides. I think I'm going to replace the Hebe fountain that we've never been able to get running up underneath the crabapple tree with this fountain. Uh, and then we'll probably change Hebe into some sort of planter somewhere, <laughs> somewhere. But I think I really do want a water sound up there because I am lacking that at the moment. The next one here is the American Renaissance planter, kind of a trough style, which I really, it's a challenge for me to plant in trough style. Like round is just, it's so typical. You kind of get into a rhythm, but I get a little bit um, bored after a little while kind of doing the same sorts of things over and over again. And I feel like I need to throw something in every once in a while that challenges me. And I really like the detail. I think the bow with the garland, I'm really partial to that. I think it's really beautiful. Um, and I just, I like the height. I think they're gorgeous. Um, so this will be a really fun one. Uh, you know, I also didn't mention that these actually come in multiple colors. I order everything in the uh, stain called aged stone, which looks very, like just neutral, like a natural concrete color. Although if you look close, I mean, you can see some variation. There's dark charcoal kind of worked in there. The reason why I order in this stain is because we have really hard water. And if I get pieces that are different color, like darker or whatever, uh, they tend to show that hard water staining really bad. And I've tried everything. Like once that hard water builds up, it is so super, super hard to control and to keep down. And it's a constant problem here. And uh, you know, I've had lots of suggestions from you guys, but I mean, I think I've tried just about everything and can't keep on top of it. So I find that by using a natural concrete, the hard water just doesn't show up as much. It almost creates a kind of a patina for the pot. And so I find what, when I don't have to fight something, I, I mean, I don't want to fight hard water standing on my pots. That's like the last thing on earth I want to do. Like we're fighting insects and we're fighting weeds. I do not want to fight hard water standing. And so that's why I go with aged stone. But there are 
some pots here just to show you what the color differences look like from unique stone anyway. So here's the aged stone, which is mine, all of my pieces. This one right here is called Ancient Age. I did order one piece this spring in this color. It's called the Galloway Urn. We put it on the west side where we put the new brick pathway with the circular area. It's a really tall like uh, pedestal, like a big tall pillar with a big planter on the top and it's gorgeous and it looks really good so far and I'm just really hoping that it holds up but I really like every once in a while I want to throw something a little bit different in. Uh, and then there is uh, this one's amber, ancient amber. Hold on. It's on the packing list. Amber green. Um, and this one has more of a minty look to it, although you can see like some gold flecks throughout. It has a really pretty look. Is it like kind of like the brass? Is that or bronze? Not bronze. Is it brass? I don't know. Anyway, that has that kind of aqua -y, minty green color. This is dark walnut. Now, if I were to pick a different color of stain other than aged stone, this is probably the one I would go with. I think it's gorgeous. It's like charcoal and dark brown and light brown, all kind of together, but really smooth looking. And then there is a light walnut right here. Lighter take on brown, a little bit more gold in that one. And then one called Sienna Red, which, you know, this isn't my favorite of all six. This is probably the one I would pick the least, but you know what? I have seen this color worked into other gardens and it looks, looks fantastic. So I th just think, it has to do with setting and kind of what your style is and all that sort of thing. Okay, so these piles right here, it looks like they put them in um, kind of collections. I ordered two of each of these. So two of each size. So these are called the Beau, is it Jardinier? I looked up on YouTube how to pronounce that word and it was Jardinier. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Sounds like it should be fancier. Like it should sound more French. Jardinier. Yeah, <laughs> something like that. So large bow jardinier, medium bow jardinier, and small bow jardinier. I actually have two of these containers this size already at the house and I love them. I like that they are like, like this one gives you height while not being super wide. And I know that can be a problem sometimes. You've got like a narrow area, you would like a container with some flowers, um, but it's hard to find something beautiful that will fit that kind of space. And then it's always fun to have like a little collection together and have them all potted up slightly different. And then for this one here, I'm a huge fan of the rope and weave. In fact, I don't know if you can see over to the vegetable garden. Can you see that fire? Mm -hmm. I already have two of them <laughs> um, and I love them right there, but I wanted some in a different spot of the garden and I didn't want to rob them from that space because I like the way they look there. So this is the large rope and weave, medium rope and weave and small rope and weave. Now these are like beastly. They are super thick, like crazy, crazy thick. These are quite a bit more thin than these. So something to consider, but I think that these have a very classic look to them. And then these here are the lemon pots. I think my mom has some of these in her garden. The lemon pots, I'll have to, I'll have to look, but large lemon pot, medium and small. And I really just wanted to have like the collections because when I was thinking of these new projects I want to do, I really wanted to have like some groupings of pots that have some similarities. Like I wanted them to be all the same color, but have different design. Um, and I didn't really have that to be honest. Like I do have a lot of containers, but they're in use. I like where they are. And what I have kind of in like that I keep in the barn just for other projects, they don't really, there's no collection. They're all kind of all over the place in terms of color and style. So this is super exciting to have these small collections here to be able to utilize them in different ways. Oh, we got a Katie did right there. Chillin'. Okay, a few more. I'm gonna move to this side because it's a tiny bit shadier on this side. This right here, I think it's this one. This is the Belmont planter. So again, you have the garland detail there, but you've got ribs right here. So a slightly different look. I can't remember the exact size of this one. It might come in, it might come in more sizes than this. I'm not positive. I do know that this though, this is the Twain Jardinier and these do come in multiple si sizes. I love the lions on these. Where, there's a lion. Is there one right here? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I, that is so cool looking. And I like like the little medallions. I don't know what any of these things are called. Is that a medallion? I don't know. Anyway, I just think it's cool. And the thing I love about Unique Stones finishes is like if you can get a close up of this right here, 
check this out. Like it has a aged parents appearance to it and I love that. I love that it doesn't look molded. Um, it's not shiny and smooth. It's got like some serious character and I love that like right from the gate. Um, and then we've got another collection here. These are, and I'm not sure how to pronounce it. It's D-O-P-P-I-O. -P -P -I -O. Is it Dopio? Large, medium, and small Dopio. It can't be Dopio. That'd be weird. <laughs> but this is the large size here, the medium, and then the small. I can pick this one up. This one's small enough. You can kind of get an idea of what they look like. I wanted some lower bowls because, as you know, succulents are really fun to do in lower bowls like this. Um, and I also wanted something that was clean so I can pair like something like this with something like this. This is a Corinthian urn. There's so much detail on something like this that I wouldn't want to pair this with a bunch of other things that have a bunch of detail. You want to kind of mix up the texture enough to where they set apart from each other and then it's not way too busy. Because if I did this with, I don't know, maybe the Twain and the gallery scroll, I mean, it would just be too much. Um, so I wanted to have the capability of throwing something in that's got that clean look to it. I almost missed this one right here. This is called the French Weave. And I do believe that's the only size of this one available. I think it's so pretty. I love that it doesn't have like super pronounced, like you can tell it's a basket, but it's not super pronounced. It just has that really aged, beautiful look to it. And, oh, a couple more oval shaped bowls, which is kind of a little bit out of my wheelhouse. This is, let me see, oval weave planter. And I'm not sure if I can, let's see, tip it here. So you've got kind of that basket weave design again with the um, kind of basket look on the top. So I think this will be a really fun one and a, another low option. And then this one right here, it's got holly on it. And I think that's in the name. Uh, oval holly bowl. <laughs> there you go. So you got the bows there on the side and then you've got the holly garden garland. So what a fun thing to utilize in a Christmas display. So that is the container and fountain collection. I'm so excited about it, you guys. I think they're so beautiful. And hopefully you'll be seeing these in projects coming up pretty quick. We're gonna be using some of them here, but some of them in other landscapes as well. So you'll be able to see them utilized in different settings with different things in them so you get some different ideas. Uh, and a huge thank you to Unique Stone. I mean, I didn't get all of these for free, but they did give me a good deal and I appreciate that so much. So Unique Stone, thank you so much. And kind of along those lines, I just wanted to let you know kind of how Unique Stone works. They are a wholesale company. So you can't go to their website and order pieces directly from them. They, they work through garden centers. So the best way, because we have done an unboxing with Unique Stone before, we kind of ran across this and got a lot of emails from you guys saying, I love this piece, how can I get it? Best thing to do is go to their website and uh, type your zip code into their dealer locator. And that'll tell you within certain mile distance if anybody carries it around you. And if nobody does, then I would talk to somebody at your local garden center um, because they can order these sorts of things up. It's super easy to, for them to set up a, an account and order in. Um, pieces if you're really really interested in seeing some of these or getting some for your yard So I just wanted to let you guys know how unique stone kind of works um, because they are actually a fairly small company And when we did an unboxing with them earlier on we actually crashed their website you guys did <laughs> um, So I just and it's good to go now totally can go visit their website and find the dealer locator But if you email them or call them or whatever, they're gonna probably direct you to that dealer locator um, So I can just save you a step right there uh, anyway super excited about all this stuff so excited to get some of this placed like i have plants ready to go for some of these things right now so you'll probably be seeing some in this next week <laughs> anyway thank you guys so much for watching this video and we will see you in the next one bye